promise is up to here. <laughs> but we'll hear them before we've heard them before. <laughs> but we'll hear them before we've heard them before. And we're going to hear them again. Like a two hour prayer. Oh, amen. <laughs> Let's see. I'll save you from inflation. I'll save you from Bob Dole. <laughs> I'll save you by creation of a trillion jobs or so. <laughs> Let me save you by a budgetary balance act I do. Stop! Oh, just save me from these promises for another year or two. Oh, tonight, we promise nothing, but our promise won't come true. For I know we'll feed thy body, mind, and soul before we're through. So quit this year and come with us. The best is yet to be. We'll take thee back 500 years to England, and we'll see a castle hall that's bursting with the sounds of true delight. Trumpets blow by clarion call, and singers hie thee to the hall. Marching all in this hall, now the king is approaching. In this hall, one and all of his Now we welcome everyone with songs of festive cheer. to my song, for I know you do not hate good cheer, nor waiting the waffle too long, for I declare the shout, let us all take our pleasure, if there be waffle about, then give us full measure. <coughs> the host at each table would now please serve the rest of the table their wassail. <laughs> Host, did you rise for a wassail toast?
Lords of the kingdom, from the hosts of this castle, hear my toast. Drink it well. Here then, I bid you wassail. Down with him who will not say, drink hail. Drink hail! May the peace and love from peace and joy from the love of God within your hearts this year abide. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him, above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God from whom Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him, above and peer is born this day to buy us dear. <laughs> acceptable at every feast, so that thy Lord most be most and least. The of him that thus sprung of a savior to redress all wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you do? I said, how do you do? 
If you are happy, then I'm happy too. Stop and hear my merry little play. Was hail again, our noble guests. The time is here once more for. Uh, uh, a rhymes with guests. Uh, uh, rests? No. Uh, pests. Nests? No. Oh, quests! As in what do partridge hunters do? They go on quests for the holy quail! <laughs> thou meant to say was, the time is here once more for jest. That is what thou dost write. Ha, ah, yes, let us start anew. What's hail again, our noble guests? The time is here once more for jest. And jest, in case thou hast forgot, thou mayest signal thy pleasure, cold or hot, to what we say or what we imply, to what is the truth and what is a lie. <laughs> If thou beest slightly bemused, thou mayst in unison utter Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. <laughs> now let's all try it together. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Excellent. Thou canst Twitter with the best of them. <laughs> now, if thou beest moderately amused, thou mayst in unison utter Chuckle, Chuckle, Chuckle. <laughs> let's try this. Chuckle, Chuckle, Chuckle. One more shot. Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. But, and this is a very big but. Go dead. Our 
thou sure? I'm positive. Why, only fools are positive. Art thou sure? I'm positive. Ah!
doing a little more juggling for you. Stand up and put your 
left leg up over your neck. <laughs> no, 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 don't put your hands up. Come on, very nice. Put your hands up. Put the program down. Okay, reach over here, grab your right ear low. Everybody do that. Ready? Okay, now on the th count of three, everybody clap your hands one time. You can't let me join this. Clap your hands one time and then reverse your hand position. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three.
going to catch this ball in his right hand. Okay? And when he does that, everybody say, Yay, Jack! <laughs> ready? ready for that? Here we go, Jack. Off road, nice piece of toss to catch right hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now Jack, that's the first part of juggling. The other part of juggling is catching. Throwing. You have to throw a last catch. Okay. You throw it back to me. Nice easy pop, and I'll catch it from my left hand.
It is I, Robin Hood, and my faithful sidekick, Friar Tuck. Ow, now cut that out. <laughs> the horse speaketh. Of course I speak it. Um, I mean, yea, verily, I speak. I am never a horse, but Friar Tuck, faithful sidekick to Robin Hood. Uh, <laughs> and who is this lady of the opposite sex traveling with you? This is Mad Marian. <laughs> Don't you mean Maid Marion? No, Mad Marion. <laughs> she had to walk all the way from Sherwood Forest. <laughs> so many yawn trees! I've never seen in my whole life! <sighs> Mr. Hood, we are having some trouble with our economy. Can you help us? Of course, everyone has his price. Robin! Honey? Later, Mad, later. I mean, Robbie, I'm tired of living in a tree. And with all those <coughs> merry men just hanging around, I mean, don't you think it's a bit strange? Uh, Mad, please uh, curb thy tongue. Remember, uh, blessed be the woman who keepeth to her tree, for she shall find her roots. <laughs> <laughs> must speak heavy sometimes. And now, Majesty and Most Highness, I have the perfect plan for your economy. It is called the trickle-up theory. <laughs> the what? The trickle-up theory. It is based upon the fact that although water trickles down, money trickles up. Plumbers have known this for years. <laughs> the trickle-up theory in, in practice goes like this. We rob from the poor and give to the rich, who slide it under the table to the king. This makes the king very happy, and he doesn't have to bother the poor, who are not quite as happy. But they can be convinced that they are part of a great economic theory. Now, that should make them proud. Hungry, maybe, but proud. Brilliant, Mr. Hood, just brilliant. But the peasants will be revolting. Personally, I always find the peasants revolting. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hood. Goeth this not against thy grain? What did she say? She said, Mr. Hood, goeth this not against thy grain? <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. And no, no, Sonny. I used to rob from the rich and give to the poor, but you lose a lot of big friends that way. And besides, the rich show their appreciation so much better. If I ever want to get out now, of Mr. my Hood, do you mind if I call you Robin? No, not if I can call you Rodney. Rodney? <laughs> Mr. Hood, can you, uh, what would you do about crime in the streets? I would put criminals in the cabinet. Uh, that would take crime out of the streets and put it back into politics where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to make you interior secretary, what would you do? I would sell Stonehenge. Maybe <laughs> use the money to buy China. <clears throat> Who is it? Who is her? Friar Tuck, thou hast held thy tongue, has thou not to say? No, but I would like to say something. <coughs> Friends, our entire support depends on each and every one of you out there. If you feel in your hearts that our mission is worthy of your support, then reach into your purse, or your neighbor's purse, right now, <laughs> and give what you can to help keep our mi mission going. Every little farthing helps. And without you little people, how could us big people survive? Uh, I mean, how could our mission survive? If you act today, for every farthing sent in, you will receive absolutely free a miniature statue of me, Friar Tuck. <laughs>
sweeter music can we bring than a carol for to sing? Awaken the voice, awaken the string. Hark ear and eye and everything, awake. We open our program with the delightful Benjamin Britten setting of two old English carols. of late 16th century English madrigal style. He uses the different months of the year, April to December, to describe his maiden's attitude of love and affection.
famous Italian composer in the same early period was Luca Marenzio. This five-part piece, entitled Spring Returns, has several examples of word painting. Listen for the following passages. <coughs> the waves are stilled, a sudden quieting of the music. In showers descending, the descending choral lies. While nymphs and jolly shepherds, a dance-like musical motif in the treble voices. Listen to this enchanting piece by this late 16th century Italian composer.
our present decree that has brought death and destruction in Bosnia. This folk song was written as a memorial to the innocent children of that country who have suffered, suffered the loss of loved ones. <laughs> And you
singers, a male ensemble from England, has introduced a wonderful folk ballad to America. I will love you more than me and more than yesterday. If you can but prove to me, you are the new day. Send the sun in time for dawn. Let the birds all hail the morning. Love of life will urge me say, you are the new day. the 21st anniversary of the Old English Magical Dinner. Thank you for coming to this annual celebration of feasting and song. At this time, we welcome back former Point Loma singers who have been a part of this yearly spring event. Come now and join us on this closing number that has become a cherished tradition, the Whistling Gypsy. <coughs>
cheerful call. Now we leave you one and all with a bright and cheerful call. Hi ho! Let it ring and let it ring. Hi ho! Now we leave you. Now we leave you one and all with a bright and cheerful call. Now we leave you one and all with a bright and cheerful call. but one wish, that God may grant you and yours all year long. And so with that, we say, good night. Good night.